Hello, this is Hope, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to approve timesheets in ITG Center. This tutorial can also be viewed by those of you who are interested in understanding what the process is for approving timesheets. During the tutorial, I will show you how to view timesheets and then either reject or rework items in the timesheet or approve items that are in a timesheet. So let me go over to the application. I'm in ITG Center and you'll notice that I'm signed in as a different user. So I'm not myself in the training instance so that I can demonstrate how to approve timesheets within the system. So I'm signed in as Billie Jean King for now as I demonstrate this. My Manage My Tasks page as Billie Jean King has the My Tasks portlet and My Timesheets but it also has the approved timesheets portlet added to it. So this just collects all of the timesheets that I need to approve. And it lists the resources that I need to approve timesheets for, the time period, their status, the status of the timesheets, and then who the manager is for that particular person. So you'll notice in this case, I, Billie Jean King is the manager as for Arthur Ashe and Nancy Lopez and then for me in the training instance Ruby Rojo is the manager for me. So what that means is that you'll notice here over in time to approve that for Arthur Ashe and Nancy Lopez Billie Jean King has 40 hours each to approve but only four for me. So I'll show you why that is in just a moment as I click on the link to the timesheet for me during this time period. Okay, here I am in the timesheet details. This is the one that I submitted previously. So it has the hours for customers it has the hours for customer support that I included. So that's all in there. And also the miscellaneous time that I had submitted. So you'll notice that this particular task for customer support is highlighted but the others aren't. So if I click on one of these miscellaneous items first, you'll see that I actually don't have access to approve the time for miscellaneous items. Since Billie Jean King, as I'm signed in as, doesn't have manage rights for me, this timesheet, um, I can only approve this item highlighted. So if I check the box next to this task, now the Approve button shows up. So what if I wanted to actually reject this? What happens? So let's say that I took a look at this timesheet and I thought, you know, I actually know that you spent more hours maybe at the tail end of the week. And if I wanted to make correction or have the person make a correction, I'd check the box next to the task and then click Reject. And it says that the status will change immediately and that's okay. So I'll go ahead and click continue. The page refreshes and then the status you'll notice now is rejected. So that item has been sent back for uh, reworking by the person. So this timesheet actually, I don't have anything else to approve on this timesheet. You'll notice I checked boxes next to things and the approve button doesn't come back up. So I'm done with this. I'll just go over and click done. Brings me back to manage my tasks and if I scroll down that timesheet is now gone from approve my timesheets. Now let me go in and look at a timesheet that Billie Jean King does have manage rights to the person submitting. So I'm going to click on the one for Arthur Ashe. So again, this timesheet has I this timesheet has items that are highlighted. So the tasks and actually the miscellaneous items are highlighted since Billie Jean King is Arthur Ashe's manager. So I can go in and check the box next to the task and you'll notice that this rework button is now available. So rework, if I check that, it says again that it'll make the change immediately and that's okay, I'll click continue. So rework now makes 
this item available for me to edit as the manager. So I could go in and just make the adjustment on my own. So this feature won't get used a lot, but if the person can't make the changes themselves, you do have the option to make the changes for him or her. So if I don't really actually have changes, I could just go up and save and submit it again. So now I can check that box and I have the ability to approve it. And I can continue after the warning says that it changes immediately. Back in the timesheet details, there's still some items that I need to approve. So these miscellaneous items are still lingering out there. And I can check the box at the header level and then everything else gets checked. And again, you can see that I have the option to rework, approve, or reject these items. And I'm going to actually approve these. So now everything is approved. The whole timesheet is approved. No items are highlighted. I can go back up and select done, click on that button, brings me back to my dashboard page and I just have one timesheet left to approve. And maybe if I had already reviewed Nancy Lopez's timesheet and I just wanted to approve it, I could check the box next to it and click approve right here in the approved timesheets portlet. That's a quick demonstration of how you can approve timesheets.